So actually you can't be inside a government building filming at all. At a publicly accessible government building in Nashville, Tennessee, these rent -a cops have no idea what they're talking about. I'm just asking you, is this a public building? No, sir, it's a government building. What would be the difference between government and public? Anything you want it to be, sir. They are ignorant about the law. But there's no expectation of privacy. I'm not... So when did you get your law license? They know even less about journalism. So I work for myself. So you're not... A journalist. And these guards are being obnoxious. Reasonable to wait I in the really lobby. Don't care what you I think. think it's, and I don't care what you think. Okay. That's great. So we're, it doesn't matter what you think. You're not law enforcement. You have no authority over me. You know, That's right. observe and report. In the face of Sean Paul Reyes, one of the top constitutional auditors in America, the outcome for the Rena Cops is going to be inevitable and humiliating. Anyway, you guys learned something today. Isn't that good? It's good for everybody, good education. This lesson happened at the Howard Government Building in Nashville. Reyes, also known as Long Island Audit, came here to file open records requests. There goes our friendly reminder that they're always recording us. And he began filming in public areas, including lobbies and the DMV. Can't be recording here. Excuse me? Can't record in here, so don't why, why can't I record in here? Can't. Why, why would that be? First, take the camera off of me, because you can't record in here, correct? That worker says, I don't know. <laughs> Why would that be? The guard walks away to look for a supervisor. Every time you ask them why you can't record, they just say, because you just can't. Because I said so. Hi. Hey, how are you? Can I help you? Um, no, I'm just taking some pictures and video. Okay. 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 Who, who, who are you? My name is Brenda Wynn. I'm the Davidson County Clerk. Oh, hi, and Brenda. And I was just trying to figure out who you are. Oh, no. I'm, my name's Sean. I'm an independent journalist. Okay. Just taking some pictures and videos. Independent journalist. Journalist. With? Independent, meaning that I work well, for myself. Well, unfortunately, I think sometimes... Now, you're not, not with the Sovereign Citizens or anything like that, right? I have no idea what that is. Okay. Well, then, I don't know that... Um, come on, let's go outside for a minute. Let's go talk. Yeah, we can talk. I don't, I, don't know, I don't know if I can, can let you videotape people if they don't know they're being taped. What, what does that mean? That you have cameras, all, respectfully, Brenda, that you have cram cameras all over the building that you're taping everybody, right? Well, I'm, I've got cameras for our security. Yeah. Our so, security. okay, so this is for my security. How about that, right? Uh, Reyes walks with Brenda and the guard out of the DMV uh, and into the building's main entrance uh, lobby. Typically, typically how journalists do is they call me and tell me they're coming, and they ask me if it's okay for them to come take. Oh, yeah, no, okay. I, the, I, I don't do that. You don't do that. No, only because only because we have freedom of press in this country. That's why. Okay. And Brenda says she's going to call an attorney. Um, I'm gonna let you What's going on, sir? Hey, sir. How are you? Good. What's going on? Uh, do you mind if I get your name and badge number? I don't have a badge number. My name is Captain Tilka. I'm the supervisor here on site. How okay. can I help you? Um, I really don't need any help. I'm just taking some pictures and video. Sure. The... So actually, you can't be inside a government building filming at all. Really? You can't. You can't be. A, you can't be in a government building filming at all. Not at all, no, sir. Wow. Now, anywhere outside the building in the parking lot is perfectly acceptable. Yeah. Inside the government government building, not at all. Oh, okay. So I, I just don't understand why would that be? This is a public building, right? Well, she just explained that to you, didn't she? Actually, not to you. No, but I'm saying, is this? No, I'm just asking the captain. Is this a public building? I'm no, it's not. I'm his boss. Right. Oh, I okay. Step okay. I'm. I'm just asking you. Is this a public building? No, sir. It's a government building. What would be the difference between government and public? Anything you want it to be, sir. We've, <laughs> that's already, not, we've already explained to you that's, a couple that's, times. That's not the case, though. Th okay. This is a public building. This is open to the public. Well, I'd be happy to debate with you outside. Reyes stands his ground. I'm trying to explain to you that, that this is unconstitutional. I have freedom of press. I'm a journalist. I'm just gathering you content for a story. Right? There is no such thing as journalist credentials, sir. The, 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 who, what agency, so, would, what agency so would create there's, them? There's nobody in the press issue to press pass. Who are they issued by? People they work for, sir. Oh, okay. So I work for myself. So you're not a journalist. You're because just here because you're because you're an independent journalist doesn't mean you're not a journalist. In the Constitution, it doesn't say you have freedom of press only if you work for MSNBC and CNN. It says that you have the freedom of press. And I'm just peacefully not raising my voice. I'm not using language. I'm not interrupting business. I'm not. I'm not blocking anybody from conducting business.
You can see the frustration in their eyes, and as Captain Tilcott briefly steps away, that woman guard starts to melt down. Well, I just, I just, ex I just explained to you. I just explained to you. I just explained to you that there's no expectation of privacy in public, ma'am. But there's no expectation of privacy. I'm not. When did you get your law license? I don't have a I don't have a law license. Well, good, I just I just understand my rights. Ride. I just understand my rights, ma'am. Well, my right is to ask you to stop recording. You have a right to ask me. That's correct. You do. Still, Reyes has the right to keep recording, which he does. Again, the guards ask him to go outside. And you need to be reasonable, which is step outside, which is you were requested by an electric official okay. to step outside till the issue is resolved. Okay. Clearly, she's not back. The issue is not resolved. Well, I'm just so by refusing to do um, that, I think, I think it's reasonable, reasonable to wait I in the really lobby. Don't care what you I think. think it's and I don't care what you think. OK, that's great. So we're, it doesn't matter what you think. You're not law enforcement. You have no authority over me. You know, that's right. Observe okay. and report. And then you don't need to report it to me. So within minutes, County okay. Clerk Brenda Wynn returns, still talking on the phone to an attorney. Just go this to the front to just walk in. The irony that you have a camera above your heads right now is... Really? You'll keep going? She said, really? You're going to keep going? I have freedom of speech. Okay. Exactly. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. I just talked to legal, and they said, typically you need a film permit to, to film, and we can help you get a film permit. Mm -hmm. Get one. But I have to keep an eye on you. I have to keep an eye on you, she okay. said. Okay. Yeah, for commercial purposes, you would need a you would need a permit, but for... Journalist purposes, as far as news gathering, that's when you don't need a permit, and I'm sure that's what they know. But it's, it's news gathering. If you want to help me do an open records request, it'll, it'll help me get out of here quicker. The clerk provides some guidance to Reyes, then he asks for a clarification. Sure, but but I am within my rights to record it in a public building, correct? Yeah. Okay, I just wanted to make sure of that. But I was told that I just needed to, we need to stay with him. Sure, you guys can hang out. Okay. We can talk. All right. That's great. Anyway, you guys learned something today. Isn't that good? It's good for everybody. Good education. Moments later, Reyes gets his own security cop minder as Captain Tillicott tries one more time to assert control. All right, sir, we're going to stick you out with Sergeant Yeager. Yep. He'll make sure you stay in places you're allowed to be. Oh, great. Isn't that great? Everywhere that's public. Everywhere that's public. Good luck. Sergeant Yeager. How's it going, brother? How you doing today? Hey, how you doing? Roger that. You have a great day now. You can take care. Did you have a little Yeah, that's it. Oh, you like today. Yeah. First uh, right. Hey. First Amendment right, said the sergeant. Right. Yours, boss? I'm everybody's your, boss. Your sergeant, no, not my I'm boss. I'm a major. Your major, major. He deserves a commendation because he knows he knows our First Amendment rights. Hey, brother, yeah, 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 yeah. No problem, man. No problem, man. No, but they were they they were trying to you know I'm being peaceful, man. And, no, no, and man. they're that, that's cool. I mean, and they're like, hey, you don't so have as long a, as you're not just following someone around harassing them. That, no, that's you know, that, that would be harassment. Following people, you know, trying yeah, to incite no, people. Like I said, you record. You know, I'm cool with it. Yeah. Okay, First Amendment, right? I understand. Cool, man. So, Reyes and the sergeant chatted briefly about what had happened. What was the issue with the officer the other day? Um. Yeah, nothing. I was in there and they just said, you know, people, you can't record people because they have, you know, a right to privacy. And I explained to them that, you know, the minute you leave your house and the minute you're in a public setting, you don't have an expectation of privacy. That's why, and I thought it was pretty ironic that there's cameras everywhere and then you're telling me that they have right to privacy, but we're all being recorded. You know what I mean? Well, yeah, I mean, a lot of it's, you know, cameras are protection. Oh, for sure. But anybody, but those are public cameras, so that means well, you can no, get no. you can get the footage. Yeah, well, yeah, you get the footage. Right? Yeah. I mean, you're absolutely right. No, exactly. I, I so it just doesn't really make kind of sense, but... Then Reyes yeah, continued know. filming and caught the first two Rena cops leaving and doing a walk of shame. Hmm. Kudos to Sean Paul Reyes, Long Island Audit, for his courage, determination, and polite approach. The fact is, it's not just traditional police and law enforcement officers who often seem oblivious to the Constitution and prioritize their own power. Rena cops and security guards can be just as troubling. So let's be clear. The courts have repeatedly stated that the First Amendment gives the press of every kind the freedom to film and record in publicly accessible areas of government buildings. Government staff and security may not like that, and they are welcome to ask what's going on and request that the cameras be turned away, but it can only be a request, not an order. Government employees across the spectrum would be wise to learn, as so many police are now learning, 
that our Constitution matters and that staying calm and being polite is a far better look than ignorance and escalation. I'm David Schuster. Thanks for joining us.